Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. And a little bit of a different setup right here. Um, I'm actually in my little craft corner in my little craft room. I share an office with my boyfriend and I have my work desk and my crafting corner here. And I've been playing around with filming in this room. I'm so used to filming in my bedroom because I have, I think, a better lighting situation there and a better space. But sometimes it's really convenient for me to film in my crafting corner because everything is already here. And sometimes I want to film pretty early in the morning and my boyfriend is still sleeping and I don't want to wake him up and kick him out of the room. So it would behoove me to figure out the filming situation in my crafting corner. And actually he helped me set up like the tripod and everything and came up with a really awesome setup for me that's a lot better than what I was originally using. So we are grateful. Anyways, today I need to set up my April monthly calendar. This thing has been undecorated for two weeks now. We're halfway through April, almost halfway through April, and I still haven't decorated my April monthly calendar. Sometimes I wonder whether I should even bother filming something so late, but I also want to be really transparent here on my channel and be okay with doing things really delayed. This is life. This is what happens in real life. Things don't always happen according to plan. I'm not always caught up on my planners, but better late than never. So we're going to be uh, decorating and filling out April 2023 monthly calendar in my flagship planner. So really quickly, I just want to talk a little bit about this flagship planner because it has gone through some changes. First off, um, this is my big flagship planner and I actually have like the entire planner in this baby right here. It's on expander discs, of course, but sometimes I like taking it out of the house. And so I like carrying um, the current month in this like travel size planner. I'm using the seasonal vertical um, like happy garden cover and I have it on mini discs. I just put it on this like colorful assortment of mini discs. I think it looks so cute. And this is what I call my like travel size planner. And I just have like the current month in here. And actually I haven't switched this up since like a few weeks ago. So I still have March in here and the beginning of April. Oh, I actually have the entire month of April in here. I also have my stress management planner in the back here. Um, but a few weeks ago, when I started off the year um, with this planner, I designated this as my flagship planner, and it was basically what I used to call my home life planner, which is kind of a catch-all planner for me. But for me, my home life planner, my flagship planner, it is the most important planner in my, in my um, lineup because it is the one that I... Um, stay most consistent with and when things get really busy it's the one I kind of fall back into I retreat into and I make sure I have that planner um, all set up that's why I call it my flagship planner and it's largely like my household and journaling that's the two major things that I put in here so that's why it's called home life because it is all about household and social life and life in general and that is my flagship home life planner I've recently decided to switch that up though, and I've decided to make this big planner my creative journal and have it be exclusively a journal or a scrapbook or a memory keeper. I decided to take out all of the household stuff and the chores stuff because I quickly realized that I found the most joy in using this planner as a journal and being more creative in it than functional. And I also found that I wanted to take like my household chores list with me at times and the big planner is a little bit less portable than I would like and I kind of wanted to combine like my functional household stuff in with my largely functional Franken planner which is what this guy is right here and so what I ended up doing um is adding a dashboard section into here for household. So um, the section that I have for home, I added in this this uh, these pages. This is from a dashboard. This is from the 
I think it's called the Colorful Leopard um, dashboard, but I pulled for these pages and this is going to be my household section. I haven't set it up yet. But it made the most sense to have my household and chores section in here because there's a lot of other functional things in here like meal prepping and budgeting and it just and, and gardening and it just made more sense to me to put all of like my functional stuff in this bag and leave this big happy planner exclusively for memory keeping, journaling, and creative stickering. So for this travel size planner, I don't think I'm going to travel with it as much anymore because I'm only using this as a journal, but I did want to leave, um, but I did want to leave it in this like travel size setup because sometimes it is a bit difficult to write in this planner because um, I have so many 3D type stickers, like these bubble stickers, um, that sometimes it's a little bit difficult to write on the pages later on in the year. And so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transfer pages over into this travel-sized setup. And then if I ever use 3D stickers in here, um, and as, you know, months continue to pass, I'll pass over um, all of the completed pages back into my larger planner. So just a quick flip through of um, how I set this up. I have my cover page here, my Hungry Caterpillar cover page. I still need to like draw out my name and do something with this back page. But I left in my um, The Great Habit Tracker, which I have been not keeping up with as much as I want to. But I left the yearly calendar views, um, the year at a glance pages. Um, I like decorating those. The pictures of me and my boyfriend. And then this is the month of March. I was using the Disney Seasonal Color Block Planner. This is the March Monthly. I love how it came out. Beautiful. And then the first week in March, pressed florals. Second week in March, I used um, Disney Farmhouse. And then third week in March, this was Simply Gilded. Um, their Lucky Charms collection or Simply Charms. Very, very cute. And then this was the first week in spring. This week I didn't really have that much time to journal near the end of the week. And then this is the last week in March, the first week in April. And this is when I was on my spring break road trip to Sedona, the Grand Canyon, and Zion National Park. And I got these stickers in Arizona. They're beautiful. And actually, I need to go back in and journal about our road trip. This is something I've been meaning to do. And actually, I did um, wash the pugs, tidy the garage, vacuum the rooms, organize the crafts, and I did do my dashboard setup. I popped those pages into the planner. Um, I did clean my rain boots. I did wash the bathroom. Um, I did clean the glass lamp and I did polish the mirror doors, but I haven't cleaned the convict cichlid tank. This week was incredibly busy because I was on a road trip and so I just didn't get that much time to journal, but I want to go back in and journal and still thinking about what I want to do with the April overview page. <sighs> But the April monthly is completely undecorated, and so is the first week in April, and so is the current week. I have plans for this week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with um, April 3rd through the 9th. I just have one sticker here because this is the week that I went to Seattle, Washington for a conference. I went to the Pacific branch of the entomology conference. And on the last day of the conference, because the conference only lasted half the day, uh, me and my lab headed off to beautiful Bainbridge Island just for a little island tour there. So I got that sticker and so I popped it here to remind me of that. Um, but still not sure <laughs> what I want to do here. Maybe I'll do like an insect theme because it was an entomology conference. Anyways, 
Um, I have an idea for the April monthly. So for the monthly, I think I'm going to be using the Disney's, um, the new Disney Winnie the Pooh True to You sticker book. This thing is super, super cute and I just felt like it would be perfect for the month of April. This is also my birthday month, so I grabbed some happy birthday washi. And then because this is Pooh themed, I grabbed this yellow grid washi. And then I also have this that I found while I was rooting through my washi tape. It's a spring slash Easter washi tape, but it's kind of like this funky fabric material so it's very thick i should have waited and put it down here at the bottom i didn't i forgot i had this instead i used this winnie the pooh washi tape that i have um i got this at daiso but i think i might put this here at the top so i think that's what i'm gonna do and i think i'm going to um just speed things up and do a voiceover for this because i think my boyfriend woke up and I think he'll want to be in the office and I don't want to kick him out of the office. So if I do a voiceover, he can be around here and and be, be able to be in his office. So let's get started. So I started off with laying down some of that thick fabric washi at the top of the pages. This is a really cute washi tape. It has chocolate bunnies and green seedlings interlaced throughout the washi and has a cute quote there at the top. It's a cute washi, but honestly the texture is kind of strange to me and so I don't know if I would ever purchase this type of washi tape um, myself. It was actually a gift from someone, so that's why I have it. But I thought it would be perfect to work into the spring inspired spread and then I added some Gafasita Designs yellow grid washi on top of that to provide a little bit more of a background. I thought the yellow would go really well with all the yellows um, in this Winnie the Pooh sticker book. And then I just grabbed my sticker letters and wrote out April there at the top. Um, I really like the multicolored April letters. Um, I thought it turned out really cute. And at this point, I grabbed for my Winnie the Pooh sticker book and I replaced some of these sticky notes that I had written previously with actual monthly boxes and full boxes and started writing out some of the plans that um, had already happened at this point of the month. Um, it is halfway through April now and at this point some of these things had already passed but I decided to just go ahead and record them anyway. And then I grabbed some full boxes for the sidebar. I decided to go really decorative with the sidebar. I didn't have any plans to write anything there so I thought it would be fun to just grab some of the um, some of my favorite full boxes and just pop those on the sidebar. And then I grabbed some happy birthday washi tape and some happy birthday stickers from my sticker storage collection. Um, this sticker storage book I got at Michael's and I put all the stickers here that whenever I have one or two stickers left on the page, I just peel them off the page and put them in the sticker storage book. And I try to categorize them kind of loosely so I have a page full of birthday stickers. Um, so I just pop some birthday balloons to mark out Steven's birthday on the 16th, my friend Angela's birthday on the 16th, and my birthday on the 29th. And then I just wrote down some appointments that I had um, earlier this month, my tax appointment, my vet appointment. I went tide pooling with Angela at the Cabrillo National Monument on the 8th, and then I had gone to Seattle, Washington um, earlier in the month, so I wrote that down too. I also wrote down some field work that I did on the 12th, and then I also started writing down my uh, future plans. So I have a vet appointment later on in the month, and then also a postdoc retreat for next weekend, which I'm excited about. And then at this point, I decided to just decorate the rest of the page. I grabbed these super cute, puffy 3D Winnie the Pooh stickers that my best friend gave me. They're adorable. And then I just added some other um, stickers throughout the page from the sticker book here. I didn't really have too strong of an idea of how I wanted to decorate, so I just added some black line art stickers, some gold foil line art stickers, and then at the very top of the pages, I started adding um, some honeybee stickers and some butterfly stickers and some pots of honey. I thought that turned out really cute, especially since I felt like the top part really needed some stickers. It felt kind of empty. Okay, this is it, and I love how it turned out. Really simple and straightforward. Nothing too crazy, but 
Um, just getting back into the swing of things of decorating my planner spreads. I haven't really decorated a planner spread in my big happy planner in a while now, as you can see. And so I'm just happy to get back into it, get into the swing of things. I think it turned out really cute. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is such an adorable little bear. And I think these like big puffy stickers really make the spread pop. It's been a busy month and it seems like it's going to continue to be busier. I have a couple of things going on um, for the rest of the month here. And I'm looking forward to Stephen's birthday and my birthday on the 29th. Yeah, I think it turned out really, really cute. I'm happy with it. And I can't wait to do more Winnie the Pooh spreads. So with that, thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you picked up the Winnie the Pooh True to You sticker book and what you think about it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and week. I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, please stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Adios.